for each like button combo that you miss press like if it, if it was x and it was supposed to be trying the rope shimmies <laughs> the rope shimmies are the worst man they're a giant pain in the ass to be honest anyways how is everyone tonight oh man i hope everyone's doing okay i had planned on starting to get together a list of games for the poll for you know the next game we're going to complete as part of the ps playstation gauntlet thing whatever you know um but like i got sidetracked with checking out all of the commands that i could add to the uh um this is weird I, this happened just a second ago too uh my controller's not working it's working fine like in the thing though but not here let me unplug because i have a playstation one command or command fuck i reading chat and talking i have a playstation one controller plugged into port number two let me let me disconnect that and then see you got to do eight ball and then a question so you do that exclamation mark eight ball space and then whatever your question is There we go, yeah. Seems like it just didn't like the PlayStation 1 controller being plugged in. At 8-Ball, is stream a weirdo? Are you joking? <laughs> I think if anyone's a weirdo here, it's definitely Noodle. 100%. Noodle's the biggest weirdo I know. Not saying it's a bad thing, but it's true. Noodle's a giant weirdo. Best response. <laughs> There's another one, too, that you mods can use. Um, so for... For Nate, uh, holy fuck, that's loud in my he head. Turn that down a little bit. So for like, uh, you know, Nate, Noodle, Rue, you guys, for the mods, you can do exclamation mark add quote, and then space, and then a quote that's commonly said, or, or just, you know, a funny thing taken out of context or whatever. And then people can do exclamation mark quote. I don't have any added, but they can do that, and it would uh, show a quote if there were any in the list but there's not, so. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So I think it's like, add, quote, cool, cool, cool. I don't know, again. <laughs> so then now if we do exclamation mark quote, there we go. So, oh, I didn't know it did that. I didn't know it said, like, the name of the game we were playing and whatnot. So, that's a thing. But, yeah, so a quote from a game, a quote from me, a quote in, from chat, just, you know, basically anything. Um, just don't make it, like, <laughs> too disgusting. But, yeah, so that's that's another one there, too. But we got we to gotta build up some quotes, man, to have that one really work. There, I added a lurk command because uh, some people, specifically Chocobo, tried to do a... I've only been speaking English all my life. Yes, that's true. That is a quote that I have said. Not right now, though. Uh, I guess technically I just said it. Anyways, um, fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Chocobo tried to use, like, the lurk command, and I didn't have a lurk command set up, so I went ahead and added that one. Um, words. Words are just things. Um, what else did I add? The hug command. Like, you guys saw a lot of them. Shit, what else, though? Oh, rewards. Because uh, we had... I think it was Psycho the other day. Um, said that, like, on mobile... They... <laughs> on mobile, they weren't able to see what some of the rewards do. So the ones that weren't self-explanatory, I added, like, a list. Um, the only downside is, is you can't put spaces or, like, new lines in, in Twitch chat. That's just not something you can do. So, like, everything kind of runs together there, which sucks, but can't really do much about it. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, let's, uh, oh, I also added one for the poll. Um, so if anyone asks about the poll, there you go. Which, speaking of, we have round three of the poll up. So for anyone who hasn't already voted in that, feel free to follow the link tree link, scroll down to the bottom, and that'll take you to the poll. 
Uh, that link tree also has a link to my uh, spreadsheet, my public version of the spreadsheet that I have of all the PS2 games that I do and don't own and whatnot. Um, so if anyone's ever curious of games that they can request us to play and things like that, that's the link you want to follow. I think that's it. Okay, I think that's pretty much all I added. Again, Reed. How does what's going on underground have anything to do with all that craziness up there? Yeah, I got the same question as Hothead here. All of my readings correlate exactly to this location. I've tracked a large cosmic energy spike to these coordinates. Find the source and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to figure out why Earth is experiencing such strange weather anomalies. This would so have to happen when I'm still trying to find a caterer. Oi, the wedding! Don't push it. Look out! Johnny, we could use some light. Got it, sis. Flame on! What do you think? Ben, we're gonna need an assist here. Yeah, and uh, Big Rock, make Little Rocks. No problem. Step aside, Sparky. Woo, that spare room is hot. Well, I've essentially been running a heater in there for the past four days, running that uh, script on my server. So <laughs> that's probably part of the reason why it's so hot. What did you learn today or learn how to do today, Rue? You have me curious. Now I want to know. Okay, tutorial time. If you would like a tutorial on basic attacks and cosmic moves, run up to the hint icon with the question mark and press circle. If you would like to skip the tutorial, press down on the D-pad to switch to thing and smash that rock wall up ahead. Okay, we'll probably do the tutorial. Can we change, like, any of the settings? No. Oh, God, what? How do we... Oh, you have to use the right stick? This menu is terrible and very slow. Oh, Lord, I do not like that. Uh, anyways, yeah, so no subtitles, no... No, no nothing. Nothing at all. No options. Okay. Oh, the screen is green? I'll leave and come back. Yeah, the screen definitely shouldn't be green. Something, something must be broken. Okay, so this seems like it's going to be similar to that Nicktoons Unite game that we played that was just oh so good, let me tell you. Um, and it does seem like it's multiplayer capable as well, so I mean, that's that's nice, I guess. I just hope it's a little bit more fun to play than that Nicktoons one. Why did the screen get so blurry? Oh, God. Press X for basic attack. Press X multiple times for combos. Each hero has a five-move combo. Try it out now. Okay. Learned how to install Chrome OS onto other computers. We had these old Mac all-in-ones that we couldn't use, so we decided to try to turn them into catalog computers, and we were inside to install a totally new uh, OS on them. It was cool, and it provided a solution that damn laptop I had for five years and couldn't factory reset. Yeah, there you go, dude. That is pretty cool. I've never tried installing Chrome OS on another computer before. Um, my solution for stuff like that, old laptops that were junk, is basically install linux <laughs> on them because same sort of thing right just a lighter weight os that you that you can still do everyday stuff in but uh nowadays with chrome os being a thing for a lot of people that's probably the better option to be honest even though i am a big fan of linux chrome os is easier to use for the general public at least Notice the glowing blue segments below each hero. These are tanks of cosmic powers. You can replenish tanks of cosmic powers by defeating enemies. Press square to unleash a powerful cosmic attack. Press triangle for a devastating cosmic ability. Both cosmic moves consume tanks of cosmic power. Okay. Give the one for each hero a try. One enemy extra crispy. Okay. Fantastic. Awesome. Great, great job. Why am I getting the great job pop-up? I didn't do anything. Bet you weren't expecting that. Oh, how fancy. He gets Very all well. electrical and stuff. So she just shoots a little beam, and then she's got a shield thing. Where Is that everyone? No, I didn't do Let's him. He smashes things. Oh, and he's got a big punch. I love all the pop-ups of text, man. That's, that's awesome right there, let me tell you. I'm going to turn the game. The voice audio was really quiet, so I turned up the game a little bit, and now it seems like the game itself is actually kind of high. Cosmic attacks and abilities are great for knocking back large groups of enemies, so remember, if you find yourself surrounded, press triangle or square. To repeat the tutorial, walk up to the hand icon and press circle button. Yeah, no, fuck that. 
Trill using, yeah, technically is the same, yeah. I mean, Chrome OS isn't exactly the same as Linux or anything, but what is yeah, this you can even install like the Linux it? subsystem on Chrome OS isn't though, and yeah. Not Doom. Doom. Doctor Doom. Fuck that guy. Oh, you meant for install? Fortune. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Which means what exactly? That you're wrong, Flame She's invisible force field. Yeah. I remember the Fantastic Four a little bit. I actually did watch both of the, uh, like, movies that came out. Oh, quite some time ago now. And I thought they were okay. It wasn't my favorite or anything like that, but they were decent enough, I suppose. Oh, I can, like, pick people up with my, my triangle attack? That's fancy, I guess. Okay, <laughs> it's just like a clusterfuck already, dude. We're in level one, and I already have basically no idea what's going on. There's just too much, too much stuff on the screen. Normally, I'm a fan of like pop-ups with with damage numbers and XP and all that stuff, but whenever there's four people worth of it all popping up at the same time, it's just, it's a little bit much. I'm getting I'm getting confused. I'm getting lost in all this stuff. Hero challenges. Highlighted objects represent hero challenges. The Fantastic Four can use their powers to overcome these obstacles. Use the thing's strength to smash through this defenseless door. I mean, we it's made of metal. It, I don't think it's technically defenseless. Defenseless. Done. Got it. That was a big challenge right there. You only watched the first one that came out in the 2000s, the one where she turned visible and took off her clothes, but because she couldn't control it, she reappeared naked in the crowd. I vaguely remember what you're talking about, yes. Rise of the Silver Surfer, which is what this game is based off of, I think was the, the second one in that series, right? If I remember correctly. Pretty sure it was. I have no idea what that uh, tutorial circle is, but I'm assuming I just gotta punch all the things, man. I'm the thing. That's what the thing what does, right? Team? He's basically the Hulk. Just smash everything. Oh, you can charge attacks. Press hold and release for a powerful charge attack. You can walk while charged. Very slowly and awkwardly, though. That's fancy, I guess. You didn't watch that one? I think I actually saw it in theater, if I remember correctly. I don't remember, like, for positive, but I'm pretty sure I saw it in theater. That was a long time ago, though, whenever they came out, because if I saw it in theater, it must have been, like, right after it came out or whatever. And, yeah, I think you're I think you're right on it being, like, the early, mid-2000s. So, like, at least 10 years ago, probably more than that. And as everyone should know by now, my memory hardly lasts a day, let alone a decade. <laughs> Just doesn't work that way, man. You can block by holding L1. Absorbs the majority of damage. Okay. Cool. Smash some shit, dude. Um, as far as that poll goes, though, I think everyone here has already voted. But for anyone who hasn't, again, you can go... You can uh, do the link command or poll command, and it'll, it'll give you a link hey, to get to it. Um, but I think we're probably, so it ends next Friday. It has just over a week that it's running. Um, and then we'll probably be starting it either the week directly after that. Um, like the next, the next day, week, whatever you want to call it, or the, the following week. So basically what I'm saying is we have roughly two weeks and then we're going to start the, the new stream schedule with, with adding more stuff to the stream, whatever it ends up being. It looks like, just based off of the previous polls, it looks like sim slash management games are probably going to end up winning. Um, just because it, it already has a bit of a lead from from the other ones. Um, but, I don't know, there could be some sort of upset. We will take whatever comes. Is there a way for me to, like, hit you guys over there? No. So I probably need to switch, like, to Fire Bro or something like that. Can he, like, range attack just in general? He can. Okay. So we need to use, like, the right person for the right situation or whatever. How do we cross that chasm? Um, if sim and management games win, controls. I'm probably going to start it up with RimWorld. I have a neat idea for a RimWorld run and, and ways to make it interactable park, for, right? for chat and things like that. Uh, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. If... 
Western RPGs win. I don't know exactly what game, but it'll probably be some sort of Bethesda game, just to be, you know, honest. Because those are, like, the Western RPGs. Mr. Fantastic can use his electric shocker invention to power on or overload electronic machinery. Press and hold circle to shoot the scrawl generator to extend the bridge across the chasm. Well, aren't we fancy? So, he can power things with an invention that he made? He has a battery in his pocket? <laughs> We really need some health, man. The invisible woman has been defeated. When your hero is overcome, their portrait turns red and a recovery timer starts. Their portrait will slowly change back to normal as the recovery count counter counts down. The hero is teleported to the Baxter building to rest. When the timer has expired or all combat has ended, the hero will teleport back to rejoin the rest of the Fantastic Four. Okay, so they die temporarily, basically, is what it's saying. Got it. That's, that's fine. I think we can deal with this. And then, holy shit, dude. These guys are taking a shit ton of damage. The, the ones that I'm not controlling. The ones that I'm controlling are doing fine. Like when I was when I was Fireboy, he didn't seem to die that quickly. And then uh, the thing here isn't dying that quickly now that I'm controlling him. But Mr. Mr. Stretch, and <laughs> whatever his name is, and Miss Invisible, they both disappeared in no time, dude. Definitely seems like it was made for more than one player, if that's how uh, they're going to act. At least they do respawn, right? Like, they're not dead forever. Power cosmic. The very energy that gave us our powers. The scroll appear to be collecting it. So wait, are they trying to, like, get their own powers or something? Explore deeper into the scroll there. Okay, I think we can probably handle that, man. I, I, I believe in us. Human Torch has died. GG Human Torch. So whenever they revive, they revive with full health, <laughs> which doesn't doesn't quite seem fair, man. There's no way for me to refill my health, but they can just die and come back fully healed. Okay, what are those little We're green good. dots? Is, are those health? Those might be health, but if they are, they're hardly healing anything. We're getting just like tiny, tiny mounts back with, with each one. I guess that's more incentive to just smash as much shit as possible. Ow. God, there's so much stuff on the screen already, dude. I'm basically just hitting X and hoping for the best. That's kind of... <laughs> that's what I'm taking from this. <laughs> Especially playing as the thing. It's just like run up to them and mash X over and over again. Good things will happen. It'll be fine. That dude was trying to play dead. Ain't happening, bro. Why are they, like, floating in the air? Did they get hit with a gravity gun? Do we have a gravity gun? Is that an option? I don't think the game told me so. I want to make dudes fly up in the air. Slowly. <laughs> I can't remember enough of the movie to know if this is, like, linked to the movie in any real way or not. I'm bringing the heat. I can't remember, like, is this what happened in the movie, or is this just some random shit for the bull game? Uh, for the bull game? For the uh, PS2 game. I'm feeling like it's just random shit for the game. Use the range attacks of the Human Torch to clear obstacles and eliminate challenges from a safe distance. Okay. This is gonna be easy. So, range dude do range. Cool. That's how that works. Got another 100 XP for doing that. I wonder... Is there... There's a gnat in my face. In our... Why did it just unpause? Hero moves. Can we, like, level these guys up? So that's their moves. Stats. Options. Quit. Objective. Maybe we level up in between levels? Or... Oh, no, wait. I see there. It says XP to reach next level. Holy hell. It takes 6,000 already? Like, right in the beginning of the game? I'm used to, like, in the beginning of the game, only taking a couple hundred or something. That way, you know, you can start leveling up pretty quickly and get the, get the the experience, you know? Humans like seeing numbers go up. That's just a fact. <laughs> well, depends on the number, I guess, you know? Some numbers you probably don't want to see rise up. Hello. 
we we got combos? I, I saw five hits pop up a couple times. Is there a benefit to doing combos? We're about to die. Holy hell. We're... Oh, God. <laughs> Stop shooting me. <laughs> you dick. Okay. Uh, this is not going well. This is this is going poorly all of a sudden. Okay, the thing's dead. It's fine. We got we got Miss Miss Invisible. What's her name? I don't even know any of their names, man. I don't remember. All right, it's fine. Everyone's dead. You forgot the towel in the dryer and your legs are wet. Oh no! Did I miss any story? Not really. I don't even know what the story is. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on either. Uh, invisible woman, maybe. That that honestly could be it, for all I know. Invisible woman sounds like just as good of a guess as any. The force bubble. We use the invisible woman's. You are right. A basic ability to generate a force bubble. Press and hold circle, and then use L to control. Release circle to detonate. That was a guess, but you were right. Yeah. I mean, I feel like most of these guys have pretty basic names, you know. Human Let Torch, The Thing, Mr. Incredible, or no, that's that's The Incredibles. What's his name? I don't actually know his name. I don't remember it either, but Invisible Woman, like, yeah. They'd be basic as hell, dude. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to blow this up. Yeah, look at me, man. Puzzling Master. What does this do? We got a coin. F4 token found. Throughout the game, you can find these Fantastic Four tokens. There are a total of four hidden F4 tokens in every level. Use them to purchase hidden content from the main menu. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if I care enough to do that, <laughs> just to be honest. Is there any reason to smash it except for gaining health? I'm thinking no. Doesn't seem like it, at least. Mr. Torch, sir, can you do your, your torching thing? Thank you, sir. I feel like her force bubble probably would make a uh, good weapon in that situation, too. But, I don't know. Game told me to do this. You were close. It's Mr. Fantastic. Of course, yes. Super original. <laughs> the F4 gain experience from defeating enemies and overcoming challenges. Each new experience level brings a new reward. So be sure to press the start button to check out the available hero moves and other game options. Okay, so as they level up, they gain new moves. So yeah, this is basically just Nicktoons Unite with real people instead of <laughs> instead of cartoon characters. That's what I'm getting from this. Can we... I don't know, use some special moves. Everyone's got like... So her special move... Oh, is she like protected? I think she's invincible right now. Whenever she has this, this bubble thing going here. That's neat, I guess. What was yours again? You can shock people. And, ooh, that one's actually pretty neat. So, like, a big a big group shock thing. That's cool. I like it. I mean, it's definitely better than Nicktoons Unite. Don't get me wrong. But it's, uh... It's a game. <laughs> I, oh, fuck. I forgot to run the pole. Damn it. With all of the... the, the new new chat commands i forgot to run the are we gonna like this game poll in the beginning gotta let you guys gamble away your actual twitch points too not just the fake twitch points the storage tanks and rockets i'm not talking about your theory i have a wedding to plan remember dude i already hate her shut up about the wedding <laughs> i understand you're super excited for it or whatever but bruh i think we got bigger issues at the moment than your wedding right isn't the she wedding. marrying mr fantastic uh, like I, I, I remember you know what reed don't even try yeah okay it seems like he just doesn't care fair enough use the thing to pick up and throw enemies when close to an enemy press and hold circle okay is there a reason we need to do that noodle thank you so much for the five bits love yes they're married and human torches her bro well, they're not married yet. <laughs> they may end up being married, but from the sound of it, they're still planning the wedding at the moment. I still feel like Mr. Fantastic kind of got the short end of the stick here, dude, as far as powers go. Like, 
Yeah, he can stretch. Woo. <laughs> Why do you hate Noodle? I would say no. That doesn't even make sense, 8-Ball. <laughs> I don't think the 8-Ball is really that magic, guys. I don't know. Wait, do we need to, like... Do I need to, like, destroy these things before you'll open or before these things will stop spawning or something? I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. Eight ball's a little bitch. Wow, dude. So rude. What did the eight ball ever do to you? <laughs> it may have been a little, uh, sassy. <laughs> but I feel like it wasn't that mean. All right, Human Torch. I kind of wish you would have died so that you would have came back with full health. Is that bad? Looks like that's I don't know. Oh, that's just a regular door. Uh, so we need the thing. Which way? I think we came from this way, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we came from that way. May have accidentally set a trap. You mean like set off a trap, I'm assuming? I don't know how you accidentally set one, so I'm assuming you meant set off. Um, and that's fine. As long as it's not broken, then we'll just reset it. I mean, we have extra even if it is broken. Why are you so mean to Noodle Shore? <laughs> oh, God. I think... Maybe the eight ball just doesn't do well with questions about people. <laughs> you bumped it with the speaker. You don't like eight ball. Uh, apparently, the eight ball doesn't like you either, so seems fair. Where are we going? Is there a door that I'm missing? Oh, I thought that was a wall there. <laughs> Whenever I started to walk over here a moment ago, that's why I just stopped and turned around. I didn't realize that. Nope, it's just a fucking walkway. These guys lay on the ground forever, don't they? They're like, I just need a fucking nap. The thing just punched me in the face. Like, I can't deal with this shit. I'm not a comic book expert. Did the thing and the Hulk ever fight? Because I feel like that would be a pretty good fight, honestly. Between those two. What's the sausage for? For the tacos, man. You do two pounds of beef, one pound of sausage. It's so good. If you don't want it, though, that's fine. Yeah, that, that is what I bought it for. But if you don't want to do it, I'll just uh, cook it up separate later and then mix it together. You can just do, uh, like, mix some together for me. Um, you can just cook the two pounds of hamburger. And then, yeah, I'll do that later if you don't want the sausage. There you go. See, the 8-Ball just said they liked you, man. The 8-Ball's got nothing against you. Ignore the lol at the end of that, but um, <laughs> that definitely doesn't make it seem sarcastic at all. Maybe it's flirting. The 8-Ball's got a thing for you, huh? Is that what you're trying to say? What do you, need? you know it's being mean when you like someone? You know like being mean when you like someone. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That's totally what's going on. Do you like stream a teasing jerk? Wait, what? <laughs> no, Noodle said, do you like me? Not me, but like Noodle literally said that. And it said yes. So it likes, it likes Noodle. No love, listen, 8-Ball is like you. Oh, did I misread what you said? Maybe it's flirting. So he's like stream, not he likes stream. Look, words are hard to read sometimes. <laughs> Powerful pummel. The thing now has a ground attack. Press X when an enemy is lying on the ground to crush him with his attack. Just crush him completely. Love it. I've only been speaking English all my life. Perfect timing on that one, dude. Need to change that to reading. I've only been reading English all my life. It ought to be illegal to feel this good. Uh, what? Ought to be illegal to feel this good? Why? What <laughs> would you do? Why do you suddenly feel so good? I'm a little concerned.
Knocking enemies up in the air will create a chance for a fusion attack. If a fellow hero is nearby when an enemy is in the air, their portrait will highlight with a bright blue glow. Switch to the highlighted hero and press R1 for a fusion attack. Successful fusion attacks with each hero will add a unique team boost to the Fantastic Four. Fuck, this is a lot of info to take in. Ad quote, we all know I suck at reading and paying attention. Did I actually say that? I don't think I said that. <laughs> I don't think it works, but you could try, quote, space three. I don't think it works that way, but you can try. A while ago, but yes, you did. Fair enough. I probably did. My memory also sucks. I should have added that in there. Oh, there you go. So it does work that way. <laughs> now you just have to remember all of the quotes. <laughs> Fire damage, team healing, a damage multiplier, or a short period of invincibility can be awarded. Give it a try. Press square to l use the thing's level 1 cosmic attack to knock an enemy into the air. Okay. So. Uh, I'm trying to knock people into the air. Uh, did, did I do it? <laughs> I don't think I did it. Hold on. Let's try this again. There we go. Fusion attack, health restore. Cool. So cook all the sausage and all the burger. That was my plan, yes. But again, if you don't want any sausage, because I know you're not the biggest fan of sausage. So if you don't want any sausage in your tacos, then then like I said, you can leave the sausage out and I'll cook it separate later. That's honestly fine. Like I won't be upset. Oh, more people, hello. Make yourself useful, Invisible Woman. Wait, did she, like, freeze him? Is that what just happened? I think she froze that dude in place. Did she, like, force freeze or something? You try it, God. Just let you cook? I'm letting you cook. I'm pretty sure I've done it before with, with you here. Um, like, for whenever we've eaten together, but... I don't know for sure, though. You lost your thousand points, Nate. Oh, God, man. Uh, is everyone dead? Everyone's dead except for me. This is not good. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Okay. Uh, there's also a gamble one. And... <laughs> um... And a, uh, the heist one that you didn't join earlier, Nate. There's that one, too, that you can use your points on. I feel like I'm missing one. I feel like there is another one. Um, duel. And then there's the duel. So that's, that's all the stuff you can do with your points. You can, you can join heists, start heists, uh, duel someone. There you go. So Rue just started a heist. So anyone that wants to, to try and, and steal some, some booty, <laughs> you got to, uh, do the exclamation Exclamation mark heist, and then how many points you want to, I guess, spend, put into, whatever. I don't know. Nate's going a thousand. Nate, do you even know how many points you have? Like, you should probably check that before you do all your points, dude. <laughs> you can check your number of points by uh, doing the points command. Exclamation mark points. And that'll let you see how many you actually have. Because, again, these ones are separate from Twitch points. Yeah, you've already gone through, <laughs> what, probably half your points? I don't know, though. You could win this one. Yeah, I think all of you guys started today with around 5,000, I think. Because you guys spend a lot of time in the channel. Um, and as such, you've collected a lot of points. Because I've had the point system enabled through, through the bot for quite some time. I just never did anything with it <laughs> to be honest so like yeah you guys have been secretly accruing points in the background for quite a while you used to play a game similar to this on discord use the invisible woman's basic ability to generate a force bolt oh yeah we know how to do this already i guess maybe we could have skipped it earlier so that's why it's telling us about it again uh force bubble your mom oh Got him. You never had a I don't... Chance. I don't know if I like Invisible Woman. Oh, she died. Oh, that's a way to... That's a, kind of a cheat. 
But that's a way to get people their full health back since they instantly recover when you're out of combat. You can just, like, use these force fields to kill them. And, yeah. A crew of pirates and raiders check their flintlocks and sharpen their cutlasses as they disembark for Blackheart Island. The poisonous fog sends half the crew to Davy Jones' locker. The rest escape with a handful of plunder and a tale of plenty. This Rue gets 1,350. Go Rue, dude. Everyone else, you got fucked. <laughs> and not in a good way. I'm pretty sure I set... Like, there's a modifier... Do we normally add garlic and onion powder to taco meat? Uh, yeah, dude. Always. Um, we normally... Or, what? Dude, now I'm, I'm lost. Uh, you can set, like, modifiers on the heist one. And it was set automatically to 75. So, I increased it for followers... Or, I'm sorry, for subscribers and mods to 85. So that, like, there's a, a slighter chance of you winning, I think? I think that's what that number means. I hope it's not a lower number is better. Because <laughs> if it is, then the game's actually harder for you guys right now. Nate, you gotta, you gotta start betting lower numbers here, man. <laughs> I don't know what the payout multiplier is, but I'm sure it's pretty decent. You guys won't believe what happened today? Dude, yeah, do tell. What happened today? Something nice, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't win, dude. You, you just can't win, period. You lost at the slots. You lost the gambling. You lost the heist. Holy shit, dude. Gamble has a long cooldown. I might decrease that one a little bit. I want the cooldown to be about a minute for each one. Let me uh pull up the gamble minigame. Oh, man. Okay, I can't change the cooldown on that one. Yeah, I can't change the cooldown on that one. Well. Sue, of course I'm excited about our wedding. Yeah, this none of those ones I can change experience. the cooldown on. It looks hey, like Reed, we just uh, have to wait for it to run out. Too late for that. Look. The monitor shows four generators on this level. Oh wait, Shut no, I can't change the cooldown on I can hardly wait. I can change the cooldown on heist. I just changed that to one minute. Or, well... Oh. I bet you... It probably needs to be, like, three minutes. Because there's two minutes after you start it. And then I'm assuming the cooldown starts right away? Fuck, I don't know. Whatever. It's, it's on three minutes. But the gamble one, I don't see a cooldown. There's a minimum bet, a maximum bet, and okay, then multipliers. For, for big bets. I wish I could add more levels of multipliers. But, oh well. Can't do that. Your hand already hurts from what? Chopping up the, the meat or whatever? It's also 1 o'clock, so I'm going to actually wait a moment. And we're going to take our break after I catch up with chat. So in like 2016, you had a long-distance girlfriend and we lost contact ages ago. But we're both fanfiction writers and there's this site called AO3... And she reached out to me apparently just short of a year ago, but you don't go on the site often, so I figured it was too late to reply. No, she did reply back, and we exchanged Discord IDs. Dude, that's honestly awesome. Good for you. That's really, really cool. What were the chances, too, of, like, did did she already know about your, your fanfics that you wrote or something like that? Like, it's just, what were the chances of her finding you on there and reaching out that way? You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. But really cool. Really cool. I'm happy for you. I hope uh, whether it's friendship or or another long distance relationship you're looking for or whatever the case may be. I hope it works out for you, dude. That's pretty cool. But all right, guys. Yeah, we are going to go ahead and take our break just to get rid of the pesky pre-roll ads as well as, of course, give everyone a chance to stand up, stretch, do all that sort of stuff. I know I'll be doing some of that stuff. I'm probably going to go check in on Noodle real quick to, to stretch my legs, get a drink, all the fun stuff. But we'll be right back with more of this this game that exists it's not exactly a wonderful game but it is a game so <laughs> we'll be back guys there's a different animation that would play out you know or if it was x and you hit square if there was one for that etc etc that'd be neat i'm fairly certain or, yeah, I'm like 99% sure that there's not, but it'd be really cool if there was. <laughs> ah, 
I was trying to do a magic combo there. Or not a magic combo, but magic there. But I was in the middle of a combo, so that was dumb. Yep, I jumped way too early on that one. We gotta be getting close, though. Is he, is he down? He's down. Okay, good, 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 good. Run over here like a motherfucker, and please do not mess up the quick time events. I'd rather not do this fight again if we don't have to. Square, square, we got this. Easy. No problemo. <laughs> Alternate pressing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. We can do that. Back and forth. And we're free. Just chop his whole wrist off, man. Should have just dug the knife in there and went around in a circle. Just took it all off, you know? So that was a hell of a lot better than the last time I played. The last time I played, I think it took me like three or four tries to get through that section. Just a little embarrassing, to be honest, but you know. Even that wasn't an amazing showing, but at least we made it through without dying. We'll take what we can get. I think last time I was playing it on PS3 as well, because I have the PS3 remaster, but since this is the PS2 gauntlet, obviously this time I'm playing it on the original PS2. And honestly, I mean, other than the fact that it doesn't look quite as nice, other than that, I mean, it's still the same game, so... No complaints there. I think it's just as nice on the PlayStation 1 as it is on the... Or, I'm sorry, on the PlayStation 1. It would be amazing if somebody did do a demake of God of War for the PlayStation 1. I'd love to see how that would come out. But no, I meant uh, <laughs> it's just as good on the PlayStation 2 here as it was on the PlayStation 3. And there is even a widescreen mode that you can play it in. It does support 16.9. I just decided it was... Uh, I'd rather just keep it on invalid date. Hmm. I decided I'd rather just keep it on the 4x3. 4x3 to me is what the PlayStation 2 is, you know? As nice as it is to fill up the entire screen with whatever game you're playing, God of War, or just any PS2 game, was made to be played on 4x3, in my opinion. I'm sure there's people out there that will disagree, but... I tried Killzone 16x9, and I, like, looking back at it, watching the video back on YouTube or whatever, I, I regretted it a little bit. I did end up switching it to 4x3 before the end of the, the stream, but I kind of wish I would have just spent the whole time playing it in 4x3, because I think I actually ended up liking the way it looked better 4x3 than 16x9. Yep, I know. I know how to move stuff, I promise. I mean, it has been a little while since I played. I, I've definitely forgotten some stuff, but I don't think I've forgotten how to move things. <laughs> so some simple puzzles. That's what God of War is all about. And down here is there... I know we can get up there, and I'm going to get up there. But yeah, I was going to say, i got to remember how to get around this place first, though. So we do that, and then now we can... Well, I guess we didn't have to do that, actually. And then since we're so close to this one, though, we can just roll right through it. See that? Freaking puzzle-solving masters here. And then we can just leave that there. But before we leave that there, if you notice, whenever we went through the hallway, there was a bunch of boxes at the end that I said we are going to get. How are we going to get them, you might ask? Well, if it's not already abundantly clear by me breaking the top off of this and pushing it over here, we can use this as a platform to get up top, guys. Isn't that cool? So, yeah. <laughs> this is how secrets and things usually work in God of War. Just really simple puzzles. There are some that are a little bit more complicated. And I remember one in... I think it was in God of War 1, which was interesting. There were, like, these very faint, glowing circles on the ground and if you were to press circle on each one of them and then like get to the end and stand in a specific spot or or maybe it was just whenever you press circle on the last one or whatever it would show you a message in the sky like uh and now i have become death or or whatever that famous quote from i think it's oppelheimer is and then you would just get a crap ton of red orbs like <laughs> like it's just a neat little thing and at the end of the day it gives you more red orbs which, of course, if you don't know, gives you basically experience points. So you can increase your weapons and magic and uh, all that abilities or levels or whatever. Alright, so these archers are annoying as shit. 
So we are going to come over here a little bit and just freaking pinwheel around, causing massive freaking... Ah, uh, yes. The best of translations. All your base are belong to us. <laughs> Is it just me, or does the text fucking suck in this game, dude? I don't know. Like, do I need to change a setting here somewhere? Why does the text look so trash? I do have the smoothing filter on. I meant to have it on sharp. But, like, it looks so bad, man. That, like, messes up Twitch so bad. It doesn't look too bad on a still screen, I guess. Whenever I'm actually just, like, playing games on my own, I do sometimes like to use the, 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 the filters, though. I think they look nice, to be honest. Adding, like, the fake scan lines and things. But, I don't know. I guess it's just this game. It has, like, microscopic text. So it just does not work out too well. Anyways, okay, let's get back into the game, I guess. Uh, I, I, I believe we're in chapter two now, I guess. Uh, the thing is the guy, the one to use. This looks the same as the last level, but slightly less gray. I say as we move right into a super gray area. Very nice. <laughs> Should have made me do this. What, cook the meat? <laughs> I don't know why you're having so much trouble just cooking meat. You just put it in a pan and you, you stir it up every now and then, dude. I believe in you, Noodle. You got this, all right? You know how to handle that meat. Your poor hand. Switch hands, then. <laughs> like, like, what? Uh. Hulk smash. Sorry, not the Hulk. Thing smash. Thing can smash, but can hardly get past Miss Invisible. Invisible Woman. There you go. That's her name. Sorry. My nerd card's going to be revoked. Are you sure you want me to cook with my left hand? I mean, like, it's just stirring meat. <laughs> I'm not asking you to do anything too intense now. Just, like, just stirring in the meat every uh, now and then. You got to chop it. Yeah, but, like, you can let it cook a little bit and then chop it up. Like, you don't need to, uh... You don't need to constantly do it or anything. Press X when an enemy is laying on the ground to ground attack. So it's basically like how in Nicktoons Unite, right? Everyone got the same moves, just slightly different looking. That's that's what this is looking like. Like, first the thing got a, uh, a ground attack, and now Human Torch has a ground attack. I'm assuming whenever Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic, and uh, the other dude... Uh, invisible woman level up they're probably going to get ground attacks so you're essentially playing for the same people just you know skin different oh and one of them has range attacks love it we need a chopper you've been wanting one of those stupid choppers forever dude aren't they like 15 dollars or something if you really want one we'll get one Someone's gotta get torched. she doesn't mean like uh like that kind of chopper she means there's these these things for like hamburger helper and stuff. So whenever you're cooking meat, um, it, it it supposedly helps chop the meat up more easily than just like using your your spoon that you stir with or whatever. I don't I don't know if it actually makes it any easier or not, but it's supposed to. Okay, so the human torch just died. How am I supposed to deal with these people? Cause like I can't I can't reach them. <laughs> okay, well I guess her special attack works, but what if we were out of special attacks? What would we how would we do this? Can what about what about you? You stretch, right? Yeah, okay, you can kinda do it. That seems like a, a bit of an oversight there. Having enemies that you just can't reach. I guess you just in that case wait for the human torch to respawn. Say in show business, moving on. Now, every time we open up one of those doors, break open one of those doors, we seem to get experience, so we should probably run back here and... Oh, never mind. I guess we just can't destroy that one. Never mind, then. Back the other way. Like, $5? Yeah. Like I said, if you really want one, we can get one. I, I've just oh, never thought it was that big of a deal, chopping meat. As you're frying it. 
And to be to be to be clear here, we're talking about like hamburger meat, by the way. <laughs> like it's not even like it's it's hard meat or anything, you know. It's just just regular regular hamburger, maybe some sausage. Noodle just uh has a crampy hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what was that? Why did he just go low all weird? Uh okay. Don't know what that was about. You're lazy, so you're on noodle side here. Said so, I mean I'm sure it does make it easier. I just I just don't think it's that hard to to do, you know, the normal way, just with a spoon. So I don't know if it's worth it, that's all. But I mean five bucks, it's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. And although we haven't been recently, we are a family that likes our hamburger helper. It's just cheap and easy. It's a little got a, a little high in the sodium department maybe, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Fant uh, invisible job, woman, you had on. like no health and walked right past that health ball orb. Why would you not pick it up, dude? Like, I don't want to sit here and micromanage and take control of them every time we pass a health thing just so that they'll actually pick it up. Like, just, just pick it up, man. <laughs> All you need to hear is hamburger and you're in? Hell yeah, dude. I like, I like protein, meat in general. Like, it doesn't really even matter the kind. The answer is within yourself. What does that mean? We're getting into philosophy now, dude. The answer is within yourself. I think it's telling you to listen to your heart, man. What does your heart tell you? Does your heart tell you ruse your soulmate? Yes. There you go. You got your answer now, didn't you? <laughs> Uh, I, I thought I hit the button. It, it didn't seem to work. I knocked him in the air. Oh, God, everyone's dying. <laughs> Fists of fire we just got. Uh, that's cool, I guess. I don't really know what it does. We're all gonna die, though, so, like... <laughs> sure. <laughs> wow, dude. Eight ball's being rude today. Okay, we're seriously gonna die here. Holy hell, thank god they respawned when they did. We are very close to death. Yup, there he goes. GG, Mr. Thing. You sent me back immediately, I guarantee it. Noodle's not that bad. She's just hard on herself. She just, you know, can't be left alone in the dark. Can't walk through the dark. Can't see anything. Has trouble hearing. Um, I guess that's about it. <laughs> like I said, not actually that bad, TBH. Oh, yeah, she is a very picky eater. That's true, too. Very picky, picky eater. And you need attention. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just imagine most people. <laughs> Need attention? I don't know. I guess there probably aren't. I, I guess my history with people, like, uh, that seems to be a, a regular occurrence. Apparently, I'm whiny. She is whiny. Don't let her tell you she's not. Like, she's very whiny. <laughs> she gets tired and acts like a baby all the time. Look, a plasmoid chicken. Wait, can I not break it? Can only she break it? Because we've broken these before, right? With with her ability? Yeah, okay, that's weird. Good Why choice. can the thing not break it? Pretty sure the thing's fists are just as just as powerful as her uh force balls. <laughs> Your boss introduces you as to people as uh, her whiny employee. I wonder why. Rude. <laughs> it comes from a place of love, though, I'm sure. Force stab. Oh, look at that. The invisible woman unlocked a ground attack. I never would have guessed. 
The thing has a level 2 cosmic attack. Press and hold square. The, this attack costs 2 attacks. Or 2, two tanks. So okay, I'm pressing and holding square. It's not doing anything. Is it because I'm getting attacked? I don't... There it goes. Now it works. Your abused intention deprived? Dude, seriously. <laughs> you can't be saying that. One of these days, someone's going to believe you. And then I'm going to go to jail. And then you're going to be all alone. Is that what you want? I need to regain strength. Uh, it's okay. Just, just die and you'll come back in like a minute with full health. <laughs> she's also very possessive in case that wasn't clear um <laughs> i forgot i forgot that one god half the crew is like dead seems like it's always those two mr fantastic and invisible woman oh where did why did you two How'd you guys get in front of me? <laughs> I was coming from that direction. Still no downside. I mean, obviously, I think she's worth it. I've been with her for 11 years. See, the way the game is set up, I kind of want some of the characters to die. Because if they die, they'll come back with full health. And that's not how I feel like it's supposed to be, <laughs> you know, when you're playing a game. I don't think you're supposed to want your party of players to die. It's a weird mechanic, that's for sure. And you better still think I'm worth it for forevermore. I will, you weirdo. Cash grab game? Cash grab game. Definitely a cash grab game. I think it would have been... I, I mean, I've said this many times about this type of game. Maybe I'm just not that into this type of game. I don't know. Um, either that or we've only been playing bad versions of this type of game. But anyways, uh, yeah, I feel like it would be much better as a like an action-adventure game where you just take turns playing as the different characters. Or even if it focused on like one of the characters or something would be fine and then just has like short sections with, with the other characters or maybe you team up to go on different missions together or something. I don't know. I feel just anything would probably be, be better than this. Or I'll kick your ass. See that? Let's keep moving. Where... Oh, there's a wall. There we go. That'll do it. Hi, guys. Welcome back. I'm pretty sure they didn't fight this many people in the in the movie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I rem would have remembered the, the hordes of hundreds of people that they were fighting for two hours straight. Human Torch is dead. Ah, eh, well. He'll be fine. He was teleported away to safety to get some rest and relaxation, like. See, he's back. He's back and doing better than I am right now. Oh my lord, dude. Yeah. I uh I don't think this one's gonna go on the let's complete it list. <laughs> I don't I don't think this one's making the cut, guys. I don't know. Not sure how everyone else is feeling about it, but the only way I could see myself completing this one is if I got a group of people together and we all played it together. But even then, I don't think it would be worth it, just, just, just to be honest. Not into it? Yeah. It's, uh, it's a game that exists. I guess if you're really into the Fantastic Four or something, maybe it would be worth it, but... Oh, look at that. Mr. Fantastic got the same move everyone else did. He can now punch people that are on the ground. I never would have guessed. I still don't really understand her move. Does it like, does it hurt people? The, the force field or does it just make her invincible for a moment? Maybe it just, I'm thinking it just makes her invincible for a moment, but that's like the most lame way to have a special attack. 
Can anyone smash these doors or just the thing? Just the thing. Oh my god, Thing, just hit the door. Thank you. Also, Thing, if you want to, like... Does this force field hurt us? No, we just can't walk through it. Damn it. <laughs> I kind of wanted to kill you. I'm not going to lie, dude. That other section that we played, I feel like there was meant to be a force field. Whenever we just walked in and then tried to beat the, the Thing and it didn't work. I'm wondering if there was supposed to be a, uh, a force field and we were supposed to have to do that ball thing, but it didn't spawn for some reason. Because as far as I can tell, there was no reason for us to actually destroy the generator in that section. We just did because why not? It was a thing that was there that we could destroy. Why wouldn't we do it? If Hulk can smash, he gonna smash, you know? Then, then get in on it, Mr. Fantastic. I mean, aren't you supposed to be the leader of the group? I don't think you really have to ask. You can just you can just kick the bad guy's ass. No one's going to be mad at you for that. Well, the bad guys might be, I guess. But fuck them. No one cares what they think anyways. Let's go. All right. We need your battery, Mr. Fantastic. Charge it up, dude. All I can think of is noodles cooking tacos downstairs, and I really want tacos. <laughs> that's that's the only thing going through my mind really right now, dude, is tacos. Fucking tacos. Not, like, fucking tacos. That would be weird. But eating tacos. Because, yeah. I'm thinking this isn't the way we're supposed to be going. Because there's, like... We're just walking and walking. There's no enemies spawning. Nothing to break. Do we go this way? There we go. There's a door to break. That's a good sign. Om nom nom. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Controller vibrating. Why? Because we reached a checkpoint. Okay, sure. Yeah, we haven't had tacos in months, have we, Noodle? It's been a while, <laughs> to say the least. Um, Which one do I need? What kind of door is this? This looks like a fire boy door. A long, long tome. A long, long tome, guys. That's how long it's been. <laughs> You're taco deprived. Taco about abuse. Oh, get it? Because you said you were abused because you're a weirdo. You're taco deprived. It sounds like talk about taco. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Terrible pun over. Uh, shock some dudes. Do it again. You am, especially by my mother. What, taco deprived or... <laughs> or abused? I'm confused. What are we talking about now? Oh, God. The thing's about to die. I really don't want... Uh, to control anyone else, because I don't trust their ability to do anything. <laughs> She yelled at you so much yesterday. Why was she yelling at you yesterday? Better head to bed, guys. I'm tired, especially because of one of the people that we've been trying to help for over a month. Holy hell, man. Over a month <laughs> to help one person? Damn. <laughs> well, I hope that ends up going well for you. And get some rest, dude. It sounds like you deserve it, for sure. I don't feel like you're missing too much anyways. <laughs> She was yelling at you because she didn't appreciate your singing. I am not surprised. I should have known. No one seems to appreciate your singing just like I do. A retired professor and his very irritable wife. That sounds fantastic, man. <laughs> I don't I don't envy you, that's for sure. That sounds about as fantastic as this fantastic game. Just die, dudes, please. Nobody wants to deal with you anymore. This one's mine. Uh Good job. Okay. She did she did a little force field. That was cool, I guess. It is the thing only one that can trigger the fusion commands? Cause it seems like it. 
Unless you have to knock people into the air a different way with other characters. Everyone dead? Uh, I'm guessing not because the, it said people respawn instantly when combat's over, but the thing didn't. Hmm. I don't know. Game probably broke. He's back now though, so fuck it. We're gonna take him. He smashes things fast. I lied. We're gonna use the human torch, cuz... Of course, we gotta have 30 doors that only he can get through for some reason. Look, it's nice that they're giving utility to the to all the different characters. To, you know, give you some sort of reason to play as different people and not just main one person 24-7. Hey, thanks so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. But still, it's like... Bruh. It's not like it, it's it's challenge or anything like that. It's just an annoying-ass door. Especially whenever someone dies or something like that, like I mentioned before, and then you have to wait for them to respawn before I can get through the door. No, just let me get through the fucking door, dude. Fusion attack, fist of fire. Yep, that's what happened. We did a fusion attack. It didn't it look so cool, guys? I think it looked fantastic. <laughs> God, how many times can we say fantastic? I need, I need some, some stuff. Hold on. I can't. I need something to help me. Glad that's over. The answer is within yourself. Do you feel loved? Does your heart say that I love you? The answer is yes. <laughs> yes there you go good answer <laughs> don't make me come down there noodle i will tickle you so hard i don't care if you're making tacos you didn't let let me answer for myself i guess the thing can throw people that is one option to get rid of uh range guys like this. I'm not scared of you. Well, that's good. You shouldn't be. It'd get pretty awkward if you legitimately were. I feel like that's uh, a bit of a red flag. A little bit of an issue there. <laughs> if you're if you're legitimately scared of your significant other and not in a playful way, I think you might want to see some couples therapy or just get the hell out of that relationship. One or the other, man. Wait, are we... No. Okay, I was going to say, are we back in the same area as before? Good work, team. Is there a map? What's select, dude? Nothing? Oh. No, there is a map. That's a really shit map, though. Why is it so close? <laughs> I, can't, I can't see anything in that map. It's so zoomed in. Um... Okay. So, like... Were they trying to make Diablo, but just <laughs> couldn't? I don't, I don't know what they're doing. That's what that map reminds me of. With you know, as large as it is, and taking up the whole screen and and everything like that, it gives me some serious Diablo vibes. But obviously, this game is not close to to Diablo in terms of quality. Not even a little bit, man. Oh, is everyone dead already? That was a quick fight. Um, I guess probably the thing's the best one, huh? You know, you guys could all help out if you want. We very obviously need to destroy that generator, so if you just want to help me punch it, that would be fine. I wouldn't be upset about this. One more and we're on our way. The Human Torch. Firestorm unlocked. Level 2 Cosmic Attack. Oh, good. Now it's time for everyone to get their level 2 cosmic attacks, just like the thing did a moment ago. Because everyone has the same level up and, and move set. Why make things different and interesting when you can just redo the same thing over and over again with four different people? It's 
sarcasm aside, this game sucks. <laughs> That's uh, rough. Like, okay, I was watching, I don't remember what episode exactly. I think it was on Sonic Ears or something of Gerard the Completionist. And he was talking about like how he used to have a, a tier of games that he that he would call like trash this or whatever. And it's it's the same reason why on my, my personal review scale that I do, I don't actually say any games trash, right? Like bad on the review scale. I might feel that way personally. But anyways, because like, you got to think, there were probably developers working on this game that honestly wanted to make a good product, you know, that 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 really loved Fantastic Four and wanted to make something fun and interesting for people to play. But then you got to imagine there was just some executive that came in at some point or or maybe they were on a time crunch and just couldn't polish it to the level they wanted to or maybe they had a very small team a very restricted budget something probably happened that restricted them from making the game that they that they really wanted to make well. so i always feel bad you know saying things like all oh, that game's fucking garbage needs to be thrown in the trash or something like that because somebody probably poured their heart and soul into it and i don't want to be dicks to those people's work because at the end of the day the fact that they they made an entire video game from scratch you know even if it's not fantastic that's still an accomplishment even for a bad game it's an accomplishment so like i don't want to be too rude but but at the same time i'm it, yep <laughs> my personal review scale by the way i don't think i've ever actually talked about it i rate games as either meh <laughs> not for me um backlog would play again or want to finish that's that's kind of hey maximum health increase 50 percent that's cool oh because i leveled up again i bet you everyone gets the same level up at level three anyways so that's like uh that's kind of the the order that i rate things in do you want me to wait for you for tacos if you want to go ahead and eat your tacos you can because i still got like another half hour before i'll be done for the night love so i don't want you starving waiting for me but if you're not hungry and you want to wait that's fine either or Whatever your little heart desires, ask the 8-ball. The 8-ball will tell you what to do if you can't pick. That's... Noodle and I both are very uh, indecisive people. <laughs> so, there's a decent chance I'll just randomly pop in to chat every now and then and use the 8-ball to answer things for me. <laughs> the 8-ball said, nah, bro. You ain't want them tacos. Did you taste the meat at least? Did it turn out good with the uh, sausage in it? Do you like it? I think it adds an extra dimension to the tacos, right? Both because it's a different kind of meat and also because of the, the seasoning and the Italian sausage. So I really like it. I considered buying carne piccata and um, hamburger meat and sausage meat so that there was some, some different textures in there with the different kinds of meat and whatnot too, but... I decided one that was just like too too much work <laughs> to buy three different kinds of meat and two I didn't know if Noodle would end up liking it so I just ended up getting the uh, the two kinds. What do you need? I need your battery, dude. You don't like taco meat by itself? I mean fair, taco meat is a lot better when mixed with other stuff than it is by itself. I've also come to realize that I personally don't like taco seasoning with anything except for taco meat. Like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know why. I've tried mixing it with other stuff and it just never tastes good. Like, until it's mixed with meat and, you know, sour cream, salsa, lettuce, cheese. And then, and then it's beautiful. And then it's just one of the greatest things in the world. Last couple of times we got carne piccata, it feel like, you feel like it was fatty. I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe a little bit. Oh, you know the other thing that I did actually remember to do today, guys? I remembered, believe it or not, I really did, all by myself, very proud, to swap my memory cards. I have the official memory card in slot one now, so we don't have to wait like six years for some games to save. <laughs> it should be much, much um, quicker. Did I get into this also? I did... I was making rice the other day, and I was like, man, I don't want just rice on its own. How do I, like, how do I want to, how do I want to switch it up a bit? So I, uh, I put in some, some salsa and some sour cream and 
whatnot, and it was pretty good actually. Found the guy with the answers. Which are far Just a tiny bit, like it wasn't much at all. But. Earth woman. Hey, that's my fiance you're talking to, Mister. Oh no, there's a super scrawl. Whatever will we do? <sighs> Oh, we don't even get to fight the Super Scrawl right away. We have to fight more of these little dudes. Bruh. I am so done with this game. I kind of can't wait until we play two PlayStation 2 games in a night. Um, here in a couple weeks, that's what we're going to start doing. Because then whenever there's a shit game like this, after like an hour, we can just be like, okay, we're done with this game. We're going to play two hours of the next game instead of <laughs> an hour and a half of each or whatever. I think that'll be a much more enjoyable experience for for myself and hopefully for the people watching whenever we're playing an absolute trash game. Although I guess some people probably revel in, in, in the pain of a streamer playing a shitty game. With that said though, this game at least isn't like buggy trash, right? It's not like, uh, what was that game? It was that, that bike one, not that we played, but it came out a handful of years ago. I can't remember the name of it, but I, I know a couple YouTubers that I was subscribed to at the time played through it specifically because it was so buggy and bad that uh, people just liked watching their pain of trying to get through it and it just bugging out and dying constantly, <laughs> like flipping through the ground, falling into the endless void, the bike just randomly fucking up, things spawning in randomly and whatnot, like it was just bad. I uh, think you need to type out the whole eight ball. I don't think you can just do exclamation mark eight. <laughs> if I could add an alias to that though, that would be a good option. But uh, I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I can add aliases to to those custom commands or those included commands. I guess they're not my custom commands. They're ones that are in, included in Streamlabs that you can turn on and configure a little bit. Um, everyone's about to die. Did everyone die? Nope. Oh, oh God. Mr. Fantastic, run. Oh, wait, no, we got, we got, we got this dude back. Okay. So Mr. Fantastic, if you want to die, actually, that would be fine. There we go. So now he can respawn. And then we got, we got Invisible Woman about to respawn. Bruh, I do not like... So where's that big green goon who I do not like head? the combat system. After it's so bad. You forgot ball. I know you did. There you go. Not sure? That's helpful. <laughs> the 8-ball doesn't know, man. 8-ball sucks. <laughs> Don't be mean to the 8-ball. The 8-ball is doing its best, man. Oh my god, dude. Just die, you fucks. <laughs> oh, guess what? The human torch died again. Is anyone surprised? I know I'm not. Die, please. And you too. Go ahead. Go away. Good job. Oh, look, we have a door that only the human thing. I guess he's not a human. Is he human still? I mean, he's a human underneath it all, right? It's uh, what the, it's what's on the inside that counts, after all. One of these days, I'll stop being lazy and program my own bot so that we can do things like the stuff that I've added today, but uh, whatever we want, basically. Like, it would be cool, I think, for the heist one, for instance, if uh, you were given choices. Uh, also, we're, like, stun-locked right now. I can't do anything. Holy fuck. Um, but, yeah, like, with the heist one, if, if it was like, hey, you get to the island and this happens, what do you want to do? And then people can, can make choices, and depending on their choices, it would increase or decrease their chance of dying. I think something like that would be fun. I also have an idea, or have had an idea for a while now, of like a little mini game that would be, I think, more fun than the uh, than the fucking tic tac toe that we got up there. 
that I want to add in, but I'm lazy and don't have much time to do anything, so... Someday, though. Someday. Oh, and a countdown timer. That's another thing that I really want to make for, for Twitch. There's some that already exist. Maybe I'll just download one of those, but for whenever we're, like, on break or or before the stream starts up to give people an idea of how long the break's gonna, gonna last. Things like that. Sounds like it's a no, dude. They're not sure, and then they said no. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, if you if you want to do it, just do it. You don't have to get the eight balls permission. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyways. Yeah. See, like you could have just did it from the get go, dude. These super scrawl or whatever the hell these things are are actually really strong, dude. Tanky at least. I don't know if they're actually strong. Get froze, bitch. Wait, are you dead? No, there you go. Now you're dead. Okay. Everyone dead now? I think everyone's dead now. Uh, fantastic. Do you want to, like, maybe charge this up a little bit? <sighs> God forbid we, we use that power in a different way. Ow. I thought you were being shocked. How the hell were, did you did you hit me? Okay, well, you're not being shocked now. Okay, maybe we should just, like, swap between people and use all their powers. <laughs> just all the time. We'd probably get through the groups faster at the very least. Okay, well, her power is just... <laughs> I almost said invisibility cloak. Short-term invincibility. So that's everyone's power. Back to the thing. Just smash it. When all else fails, we smash, dude. Do I have a smash? I do. Uh, why did it not work? I mashed R1 and L1. I can't remember which button it is, but I mashed them both. Oh, God. We're going to die. Please, someone respawn. Thank you. <laughs> I wish we had a little bit more control over the ball of, of flame that that human torch throws. Okay, so her her special ability, whenever it like freezes people in time or something like that, locks them in the force. Seems really good actually for taking out individual enemies, since it like freezes them in in, in place. Ah, oh, I wanted to pick that up. And then we can just kind of beat the hell out of them. And it seems like they probably take extra damage, too, whenever we're beating the hell out of them. I could have handled them myself. I wish the health restored just a little bit more health whenever you picked it up. It really seems like the best strat is just let your dudes die. And then they'll have more health when they respawn. Like, there should be less health orbs on the map, but they heal more. A significant amount more. Oh, look. We have to use this ability again. Can I just, like... Does this damage people? Oh. Uh, I didn't expect it to take the wall down. <laughs> I thought we had to blow up the thing to take the wall down. I guess that works, too. <laughs> uh. Oh god, so many dudes. Uh, Hulk smash. And then fireball, please. Just all the fireballs. And then I forget what yours is. Shock. Yep, there you go. Shock the hell out of people, please. And then human torch got another one. And another one. Just That's what we're going to do, dude. Just constantly switch between people. Use their special moves. Seems like the best way to get rid of groups. Except for hers, because hers doesn't do anything. Stops her from taking damage for a minute. 
my wounds, they're fatal. You'll be back in just a minute. Shut up, dude. <laughs> Level 2 Cosmic Attack. Press and hold, this attack costs 2. Okay, yeah. Oh, so it's the same thing, but it freezes, it freezes a group of people, though, instead of one. That, I mean, that makes sense, I guess. It helps with what I was saying about her only really being good for, for a one-on-one -on -one fight. It helps that a little bit, I suppose. Uh, Human Torch? No, you got too much health left to to murder you on purpose. Oh my god, did they actually attack the generator? They did something smart? Is that even possible? I'm so proud of them. Level 2 Cosmic Attack. Look at that. This is the door we unlocked, right? We're going the right way. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way. Uh, oh yes, yeah, her. We need you to summon a force ball, and then maybe not. What game? Wait. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It actually changed things a little bit. Same puzzle, but slightly different. I'll take it. It's at least, at least it's a little bit different, you know? It's not the same exact thing. Can I just, oh my god. Why am I getting stuck on friendlies? <laughs> uh, Torch is dead. Bye, Torch. Good knowing you, man. Oh, he's dead. I can't. <laughs> I was trying to use the Torch's special ability because I saw he had a use of it, but kind of doesn't work when he's dead, it turns out. I wouldn't come over here if I was you, little dude. I think you're going to die. I do appreciate that whenever you switch between the characters, though, they kind of teleport to wherever you are. It's a little weird that it that it works that way but at the same time it makes it much easier to deal with like one person or a group of enemies or whatever you're trying to deal with at that time so health restore it didn't seem to restore that much health because we're still about to die I'm pretty sure that dude's on the ground why were you not <laughs> ground fisting him And on we go. This is like the longest 15 minutes of my life. I think we're gonna do this room and then just call it, guys. I'm, not, I'm just, I'm just not feeling this game at all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad we tried it out, right? I'm, I'm glad we did it. It's another one. It's another one down. Another one, uh, off the list here. But holy hell. Yes, hold triangle. I kind of figured, since we already unlocked one where we hold square. Common sense kind of told me to do triangle next. What are you even throwing it at? Oh, there's a dude over here. Mr. Fantastic is just fighting on his own. There we go. Is everyone dead? Yep. Let's knock down the generator. Guys, don't walk into the generator. You know it hurts you. Freeze everyone, please. Seems like a pretty decent way to kill rooms of people or groups of people, I guess. Not whole rooms. Unless it's a very small room. If it's a very small room, it would probably work out okay, actually. I appreciate you guys actually attacking the generator, um, but there's also a dude over here trying to murder us. Like, maybe <laughs> maybe fight him first. I'm just throwing it out there as a suggestion. I don't know. Oh my god, the groups never end. It just never ends, dude. They just keep coming, and they don't stop coming. Is that it? Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, I think I've had enough <laughs> of this game. We're going to call it there tonight. 
Uh, we will be back tomorrow with a game. I don't know what game, so I hope to see all of you there. Thank you so much, of course, too, to everyone that came out tonight. I hope you enjoyed the stream, even if the game wasn't the best. I had fun talking to you guys, at the very least. I almost said dealing with you guys, and that would not be very nice. I did not mean it that way. Talking with you guys, BSing with you guys, hanging out um, was a lot of fun, at the very least. Tomorrow, we'll be playing something, another PS2 game. I don't know which one yet. If anyone has any requests, feel free to shoot me a message on the Discord or something like that, and uh, maybe we'll give it a try. Or, of course, there's always the thing on Twitch, but since we're wrapping up the stream, you probably won't have time to do it before then. I'm just stalling. We're calling it a night. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you again for coming out, and we'll see you next time. As always, be kind to each other, and yes, tacos. <laughs> Bye-bye. So of... of, of blood but it also makes quick work of them so 